Hey there YouTube, Whiskey Cactus here, welcoming you back to our Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition Let's Play. This is episode number 55. And last time we rebuilt Northeast Hippionia. And it is time now to explore the town before we try to figure out what's going on and what comes next. So I imagine we're going to want to talk to our party members and we're going to check out, see if there's a shop around here. We got Witcher over here. I'm going to hold off on talking to Witcher. I don't know if that's going to trigger any events or anything, but I want to see if I can find... Alright. There's there's a shop. Alright, so there's a shop. So I'm going to see if there's anything interesting we can get in here. Um, so first off, I want to restock. Uh, miracle Gels. I have so much money, I probably can just afford to do that. Fuck it. We're gonna do it. Just max out everything. Honestly, just max out everything. We gotta be getting close to the end game. I think it's just worth. I know there's enemies around here that kind of do these status. Maybe money well spent, honestly. It's just gonna be money well spent. And we will be stocked to the teeth with all of the items we could ever want. Cha ching. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and sell these dark bottles because who in their fucking right mind would ever want to use a dark bottle? Sell all of them. Buy. All right. Synthesis. Let's check out synthesis. No, that's not what I want. It's not what I want. That's what I want. Okay. Um, we can't make any of these things. Oh, we can make we can make the Car Carolian sword. You know what? I'll come back and do this once I actually have party members. Because I can't see at the moment what party members have used these, or can I? If they're not in my party, it doesn't look like I can. It was just showing Yuri. Just showing Yuri. All I'm seeing is Yuri. And that could either be coincidence, or it could be the fact that I don't have any other party members. Yeah. Repeat. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait till I have my party back. And then we'll wor worry about synthesis. Alright, so no worries there. Talk to you later, Witcher. This is the inn. Is anybody in the inn? Anybody important in here? Estelle and Rita. Oh boy. I want to talk to them so bad. Hmm, I see. No way. Oh. Ha! <laughs> I bet you are. I bet you. Thank you. Thank you! So useful. We'll, we'll leave them. We'll leave them alone to their hotel room. They can, uh have fun with each other. What do we got here? Places we can't go? Alright. Yep. Alright, well we got Carol over here. Does he say anything interesting? They really don't say anything interesting. I figured there'd be like, kind of sort of cutscenes with each of them, but I guess not. Heh, <laughs> got so bored. I can imagine. Hello, dog. Woof, woof. It's a dog. All right. This is a super cool town. Pond used for transport connects to a river. Seems like at least a sea. Cool. All right. Well, we got Sodia and Flynn, and we got Raven. What does Raven have to say for himself? Huh. Alright. Well, let's talk to Witcher and see what's going on with Witcher. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's save then. No. Let's save. We'll talk to, I guess, Sodia? And then Flynn. Yeah, okay. What up, Fl uh, Flynn's the one who we Yuri, need to talk to. Do you have a minute? I guess. Hmm? Yeah, sure, what's up? <laughs> Not here. I'll be waiting at the entrance. Hmm? Okay. 
All right. Oh, hey, Judith. You're my friend too, Judith. You ready? Sure, I guess. What up? So, are you gonna tell me why you're so serious? Yeah, what's up? Are you just gonna go like this? Go like what? Huh? The people who command the entire world are gathered here. Yeah. Now's the time to tell them all you've done. Not this again. <laughs> Half of my achievements, or more, are really yours. So what? It doesn't matter who did them. It does. Why do you always choose the option that's bad for you? Because I'm a masochist. Why do you try to bear everything by yourself? Do you think I can't take the burden? You're carrying what I can't. I know I can do what I want only because someone's watching out for me. There you go. But... Forget it. I can't explain. I'll just yell at you again. Yeah, that's nothing new. <laughs> In that case... Oh, what? Try it like this. Yuri! You know, I did say at one point we were gonna have to have a one-on-one -on -one duel with Flynn. You're not gonna beat me in an argument. You know what you can beat me in. This. Yeah. You're right. Just like always. Well. Well. Great. Everything Fighting solo. Is in this sword. Good thing I stocked up on items, isn't it? Come on! It's a damn good thing I stocked up on items. Although I don't, I didn't heal. I didn't rest at the end, so, shit. <laughs> Magic lens. That's a lot! Alright, I'm gonna go into overlimit. Maybe, if, it, if the game will let me. There we go. You keep getting better. You do too. I guess life has taught us both a few things. Can I? Can I like actually do a thing, please? There we go. Wait. All right. I don't understand how to trigger my mystic art. I, I still don't get it. I still don't get it. I thought I had it figured out. I still don't get it. It feels different for me too. All right. Can you let me? Nope. All right. I I guess I I guess I shouldn't ever try to use my mystic art ever again. I don't understand how to do it. I'm holding you down B easy on me. and doing an arcane art. I don't know what else to do. That's exactly you. what the game tells Everything me I, I have feel. to do, and it doesn't work. You've gotten better, Yuri. <sighs> you too. You would have beaten me easy if you were still like when we were kids. Didn't we swear on our swords when we were kids? We would fight to make people smile. Yeah, even if we follow different paths. Even if we bear different burdens. Even if people praised us or hated us. The knights and the guilds won't change, right? There are places in each of us the other can't reach. That's why we're not alone. Okay, well, now I gotta go back to the shop, and I need to heal. Or not. Okay. What up, guys? Figure something out? It'll work. It will? Connect the spirits directly with the core and excite it. Okay. Converge the generated power onto Vesperia number one through the four spirits, and then use it against the Autophagos. All right. As long as you know what you're talking about. I was the one to find this method. Synchronize this device with the barrier Blastia placed around the world, and then use it to interfere with the surrounding Blastia. Uh, huh? Yeah, same here, Carol. That speech was as sinuous as an octopus's legs. Carol has no hope of understanding. You're eight, Patty. <laughs> I think. I don't know how old Patty is, but she's way too, way too young to know the word sinuous. Not like you got it either. Huh. <laughs> so 
So you mean we can transform the Blastia Core into spirits, right? That's what I've been telling you. Is it? I knew you could do it, Rita. Our only problem is time. We need to build the Blastia Core network and prepare for the Converge process simultaneously. All right. I'll handle the network. We do have some people from Ospio who can help, too. Sounds convenient. We'll need a guard, too. Better keep an eye on the monsters in the Atafagos. The knights will take that position. We will protect all with our life. Teamwork. The guild will back up wherever necessary. We also have engineers who can help. Hey, this is gonna work out! So then, is Vesperia number one ready for action? Not quite. I don't have everything I need to make the body yet. I'm working on all the necessary calculations, but we still need to find compatible parts. More fetch questing? Then wouldn't it be better just to make a new one from scratch? There should be plenty of people and materials here. Hey, that's a great idea. We can start with the network construction. How's that sound? Yeah, it could end up being faster if you can do that. Then it's decided. We'll get everyone together so you can explain in more detail later. Everyone's pitching in to make a weapon that can defeat yeah. the Atafagos. Super big damn. Just like how this town was built. Yeah. Thinking about it like that gives me a strange feeling. We just need to get close to the Atafagos so that the power of the spirits will reach it for sure. Well, I'm assuming we're going to have to do that by going to Duke's place. And then activate Vesperia number one. That means we need to get to... The Tower of Tarkaron. Uh-huh. Duke's hideout. I bet he's not... I, I would very, very much expect to. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, maybe not. Maybe, like, a, a personification of the Atafagos may be the final boss, but, yeah, barring that, it is primed to be Duke. But we can't let him use Tarkaron. I guess we can't walk around it. Yeah. All right, then. I'll start working on Vesperia number one's repairs. Okay. Great. Let's aim to be ready to leave by tomorrow. Okay. Just enough time to do some shopping and to go to the inn. Perfect. Very good. Still just me and repeat. What up, Kaufman? You got anything to say? Uh, kind of seemed inevitable. Alright, I'm curious. Oh, hey, Patty. I feel like... No, we don't, we don't stay at the inn. Alright, so let's go to the shop. Oh! Is this the shop? Yeah. Alright. So what did I use? I actually didn't- I didn't even end up using my lemon gel. Because I died. Well, alright. Never mind. I don't have any health though, so I have to heal. Somewhere. And I can't do it at the inn. There's Estelle. Let's see what she's up to. What's going on? Rita is such a powerful mage. To become stronger to defeat the Atafagos. Hey, Rita. Okay. <laughs> Why you gotta suck so much? Why do you have to suck so much? You really do suck, Sodia. Alright, so what do we have to do? I, mean, I guess I could talk to Flynn again. Seems to be the only thing left. I don't know where the rest of my party is. We got Raven over here. Cool. Alright, Flynn, what do you got? That doesn't help me. What am I doing? 
What do I do? Check? Okay, cool. Alright, it's telling me I need to ret- do I talk to you? There we go, okay. Oh boy. What are you doing, Patty? <laughs> Looking for Yuri. Have you seen him? I think he's somewhere in town. Probably sleeping. Hmm. Yuri's just about the only one who can successfully hide from me. In any case, what are you doing, Flynn? Patrolling. This town has no barrier, so I have to work extra hard to keep it safe. Well, there you go. What is it? Why are you the one patrolling? You're a commandant. Or is this part of a knight's duty? It has nothing to do with a knight's duty or rank. A knight is... Well, it's difficult to explain. Is it? Personally, I believe they exist solely to protect the people. But not all knights agree. Yeah, clearly. Then things haven't actually gotten any better? No, they've improved quite a bit. Though there are those who don't believe so. Lies and rumors are insidious things. Indeed. Aw, oh, Flynn. You have far too many woes for one so young. <laughs> You're eight. <laughs> True. I have no want for trouble, but I am prepared to face it. Is that right? Ever since I learned the law is imperfect, I've looked for a definitive boundary between good and evil. Recent events have shown me that no such boundary exists. Huh. In the end, all I can do is face each trouble as it arises. Perhaps this path is full of pain, but I won't run. How stoic of you. That's what I am prepared for. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Patty? <laughs> Admirable, but God's wallop. Oh, God. You with your pirate jargon. <laughs> Long ago, I led the pirates as I freed. But I was only their boss because they had all given me their support. Okay, what's the deal with Patty? Is she really like a little kid? And had Yuri and the others not been there when my memories returned, I'm not sure what would have happened. Without them, I wouldn't be the chipper lass <laughs> I am today. <laughs> Patty. You don't have to bear your troubles alone. You have Yuri and me. We all have troubles, so we should work together to figure them out. Together? Yes. You're right. Thank you, Patty. You know, sometimes I can't help feeling that you are terribly mature. Yeah. We gotta explain that or what? <laughs> it's alright. You aren't the first to fall for my intoxicating charms. If we all work through our troubles together, then someday we'll be able to make the world we dream of a reality. Everything we do starting with taking down the autophagos will be worth it resolving to act on a decision influences those around you and then that decision becomes reality that's how whole worlds are created is it now <sighs> sink me i'm losing out on my beauty sleep off to bed i go what about yuri i'm young i'm sure there'll be plenty more chances <laughs> good night Good night. I mean, if you want some Yuri, you can peek in on uh, Estelle and Rita's room. Don't bear your troubles alone. Oh, hey, Judith. What up? Can't sleep? What about you? Oh, I was just out talking with Baul and it got late. I was just checking on how the repairs were coming along. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Oh, I hate it when you say that. That's strange. I don't mean anything by it. Hey, what are you going to do after this is over? If all goes right, all the Blastia will stop working, including Hermes Blastia. Yeah. Right. You won't have anything to do. I guess not. That's all I had. Baul was my only friend. Destroying Hermes Blastia was my only purpose. 
Well, I guess it's time to find a new purpose as a member of Brave Vesperia. I mean, I had my reasons, but... But? After traveling around with you all, I guess I don't really care anymore. You're just gonna drop it like that? <laughs> what are you going to do? You lived for your Blastia research. Yeah, no more Blastia, no more Blastia research. Th there's tons of stuff I could study. Like? Besides, I realize there are things I can believe in besides Blastia. I don't have any family, so I don't... But uh, I kind of like, you know, how we are. Yeah, so join the guild. Hey, that's just between us. You can't tell anybody. I won't, I promise. <laughs> it's fun to have secrets with someone. You've changed. You never would have said anything like that when we first met. <sighs> All the different people, different things on this journey, you know? Yeah, I do. I never dreamed I'd end up like this. I don't want to go back. Me neither. When everything's done, maybe I'll just travel the world with Bauo. Or you could be part of Brave Vesperia. That's nice. Hey, take Estelle too. There's still a lot in this world she should see. You're not coming? It'll be so lonely without you. Oh, she's coming. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess I could. Where Estelle goes, Rita goes. Well, let's be real. If we're going to do that, first we have to protect the world. Of course, we'll show that thing. Yes, we certainly will. <clears throat> That's the last one. All right. Good work. More cutscenes. I'm assuming then we'll end off with Yuri and Estelle having a nice little cutscene. Sorry for making your work right before the final battle. Don't worry about it. I'm a member of a guild. I have to do something. Yeah, you should join the guild, Raven. One of us. Hey, Raven. It's nice to be able to do things for others. Oh, such grown-up words from Master Carol. Yeah, I never did stuff just for other people. I wanted to show others that I could do stuff. I thought that was my dream, but I guess not. To make a guild, to make the guild big, to be a respected boss. All boys have those dreams. It's fine. But that was all just so I would look cool. I mean, there's so much you can't do alone. Yeah, I guess so. I thought I had to do it alone, or I'd look bad, or it'd be worthless, or whatever. That's not helping people. You said it. I see. If you work together, you can do a lot more and make a lot more people happy. I realized that traveling with everyone. I like that a lot more. Young Master Carol, you are something. So far ahead of this old man. You are cool enough, just as you are. You're cool too, Raven. Not as cool as Yuri, but... Damn. Oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> so what's your dream, Raven? Me? To be stinking rich with bevies of gorgeous women all around. Mm. <laughs> I'm now, hmm, I'm finally back to just living. So I guess my dream is to be able to dream again someday. Deep. That sounds pretty hard, but I'm sure you can do it. Thank you. I think I'll get it. Hey, is your heart okay? Yeah, it's weird, but it's fine. Even if I work it hard, it just keeps going. I guess that's the effect of the spirits. I guess this plan isn't all bad. I'm glad I met everyone. I mean, you too, of course. I'm glad I met you too. Really. We're gonna win tomorrow. In a big way. All yeah. Right, we should get to bed soon. Lack of sleep is the elderly's worst enemy. Okay. Night. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Dreams are so not my style. But here I am, dreaming. 
What am I going to do with myself? All right, show us the heroes. It's almost time. Yeah, I start to think about it and I can't sleep. You get that way too? Well, apparently everybody does. <laughs> ain't, ain't none of our party sleeping. That can't be good for the final battle. You say it like I'm made of iron or something. Would you mind if I sat next to you? Beat it, dog. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It's warm. Yeah, it's because a dog just peed there. Tomorrow we face that Autophagos. It's ironic that we're actually using Alexei's research to fight it. If they had only been able to think of others. Yeah, but they made their choices. Nothing we can do about that choices you've always made your own choices haven't you i figured if someone's gonna choose it might as well be me and i won't find out if i made the right choices until the end but that's wonderful making a choice is so hard you made your own choice too i think i figured it out while traveling with you all to live means to choose. Interesting. Yeah. And to have the resolve to make those choices. Yeah. Sounds about right. I think that's kind of overdoing it. I always just played the role I was given. I was happy to heal people and be thanked. But then I learned my power was poisoning the world. Someone was always using me. What about now? I... I don't know. But I feel like I'm here doing what I am because it's my choice. My wish. There you go. Fuck the haters. I'm glad I came on this journey with you, Yuri. Me too. I wasn't too sure what would happen when you asked me to take you out of the castle. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, apparently he became a fugitive. But it all I worked like out. Traveling. Lots of different people, different experiences. We traveled the whole world, but I never got tired of it. I think it fits me. I think I'll just keep on going around. And keep helping people in need. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's some tomboy princess out there being chased by an evil monster. Hmm. You're mean. <laughs> <laughs> It's strange. Right now, I'm not scared at all. If anything, the thought that a new world is about to dawn is... The Autophagos won't kill us. We'll live on. And I'll be able to stay with everyone. With you. Ooh. Thanks. I feel the same way. Does that mean you're going to join the guild? Everybody's got to join Brave Vesperia. Let's get it over with and live on in a future we choose. Okay. Okay. Bedtime. That was nice. Still have a whole bunch of loose ends Looks that like you slept well. have been left dangling and lots of you know, unfinished story, but, uh, that's fine. <laughs> yes, I did. Like a log. The bed was so much more comfortable than when we were here before. Yeah, the whole town is in really good shape. A city this nice needs a name. All right, naming genius. Give it a shot. Okay, okay. Scrappy handcrafted look. <laughs> <laughs> you suck! <laughs> God. Um, the light that melts away the snow. Arnian, how's that? You're just making shit up. Arnian, 
That's a nice name. Now it's got the Imperial Seal of Approval. That settles it. I guess so. Fantastic. I'm all done too. Alright, what's our next fetch quest? Oh shit. What you got there? It's Vesperia number one? This is Yoder's sword, isn't it? What? Is it really okay for us to use that? It's just the right shape and size. Plus, it's forged from rare metal. If I recall, rare metal is quite scarce and known to be exceedingly durable. Listening to your discussion made me remember this sword. I'm utterly incompetent with swords, so I'd be delighted if it was of use to you. Somehow it already feels different. It is a decent blade. So then this one would be Vesperia number two. There you it go. It doesn't matter what it's called. <laughs> it's almost time. Yeah. This time it really is the final battle. We sure? Leave the construction of the Blastia network to us. Wait, Commandant, you should go with them. Sodia? I ain't gonna use them. No one knows what might happen. They will need your help. But the Knights have been tasked with persuading the people to help with the Blastia. I am well aware that we will not succeed without the people's cooperation. Don't worry. I'm here too, after all. Well, now I can rest easy Very knowing well. that Witcher's here. But, Sodia, Witcher, even though we'll be working separately, we are still a team. Remember that, if nothing else. Yes. Okay. Okay. We have discussed the Blastia and spirits, and what to do after everything is done. But I think it will take time for some to accept this change. You're right. Many people will be so lost. However, they cannot live in a new world without accepting the changes. Yeah, they kind of don't have a choice. You're right. Which is interesting, because it's like, oh, we're going to live in a future that we choose, and all these people are not going to get a choice. They're just going to have to adapt. <laughs> seems, ki seems kind of ironic. I will start by talking with the people here. They built this wonderful city of Arnian from nothing but a plane. They build it on rock and roll. Yes. The residents here should accept it. Good luck. No one would listen to me even if I tried. No way! Esteliz, everyone, take care. Very good. The land of hope, Arnian. Cool, cool. Well, now I have a full party. So I should be able to uh, hit up the. Um... Everyone, please stop working for a moment. His Majesty Yoder has something to say. The synthesis. Listen up, everybody. We're gonna change the way your entire life works, and I you're just gonna go very with it. Important to tell you all, this will affect the Empire, the guilds, and even the Entelikea. I wonder if they'll be okay. They believed in us enough to send us. And let's believe in them. Yes. Well, we have our own work to do. Carol, do your thing. Right. Everybody, What's this thing? We will win no matter yeah. what. Onward, Brave Vesperia! Yeah, but there's only three members of Brave Vesperia, so all the rest of you have to fucking join. Well, we got Vesperia number two. It is a key item and is not a weapon. Okay. Raven's Demons. Raven, you haven't fought with us much at all, have you? Oh, no. Quite the contrary. What do you mean? While you all have been busy fighting your own battles, I've been doing some fighting of my own. Are you saying we've just been too caught up with our own fighting to notice? Huh? But I looked over during a battle the other day. You were just hanging around like normal. Well, you never know when the demons of sleep or hunger will rear oh, their geez. ugly heads. I see. But that must be tough, what with the lack of urgency or any real danger. <laughs> and yet you always suffer a crushing defeat. It's so true. So maybe you can swap me in sometime soon? I'll work hard. It's always fun when the game itself lampshades the fact that only four members can fight. Which is so dumb. Like, the, it, practically speaking, there's no reason that everybody else can't fight also. 
Um, so let's go ahead and check out the synthesis. And we can see- oh, what? What did I stumble into? Someone please show them to their rooms. No, that's not what- I did, but no, that's not why I'm here. I don't- what, what? 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 What's happening? I want my party! Don't split up the party, I need my party so that I can go to the synthesis shop and see what I need to make. What is going on here? <sighs> Alright. No, I wasn't lounging around! Alright, okay. Still looking for the right finishing move. Uh-oh, what's this? Okay. This is gonna be some kind of battle tu battle tutorial? Slept so nicely. Tried shaking you and calling your name, but you wouldn't wake up. I thought you were gone, Rita. What a relief. Aww. Okay. So it's a little extra cutscene, I guess. There's some nerve. We're gonna leave a stifling here. Estelle wants to help. Alright, what are we doing? Okay. That was... Harry Flynn. So is there a point to this? Did I, like, get a new... thing? Or is this just a bonus little cutscene? Enough time to be lounging around. Alright, cool. Good luck out there. Fist bump. Cool. Oh! Worth! Now, Final Gale is something that was in Tales of Exilia. That was an art. Let me just eat. I'll put it here. That was an art that, um, was a combined art between, I think, Jude and Mila? And they were linked, and you would get the, the meter up, and you could do a, a linked art. Final Gale was one of those. It used to be just bare land, but it's starting to look like a real town now. Sure is. It looks like they're building more and more houses, too. Yeah! Look on that roof over there! That's the Master Carpenter of the Carpenters Guild! He heard about Arnian and came with all his tools and apprentices to help! He even refused to take money for it! He's so generous! Hmm. Looks like the Manly Carpenters are out in full force. You could learn a thing or two from them. Huh. <laughs> well, okay then. Do we have a full team? We have our full team. Including Flynn. Who's level 58, by the way. Maybe worth swapping him in, but eh. I don't really like Flynn. I think I'm pretty happy with bringing Patty in. It would be kind of nice to end off with Carol, just because we've been using him for so long, but Patty's better. Sorry, Carol. <laughs> Patty's just better. <laughs> she has really good healing. Alright, um, what do we got here? So I'm going to see what we can do with Synthesis. I kind of I kind of don't want to like get crazy with it. I can't make that because I don't have a compact sword. But okay, so Carol's already he hasn't learned second attack. But I'm not uh, Am I really going to be Am I really going to be using Am I going to stand around and grind these guys to get all these skills? Is that, that's the real question. Let's see if we can get, we get better weapons. Sentinel. Maybe. I think it's worth seeing if there's anything that gives us an up arrow. If there's something we can make that's an up arrow. Can't make that. 
then I think it may be worth doing. But I think otherwise... We can make that. Oh, we have one of those, actually. So we can give that to Carol. See, the thing is... And actually... I don't know. I feel like there's so many skills, and I'm not gonna try to learn all of them. So, I think I'm just gonna bail on that. Let's take a look at my skills. Because I have ten more skill points. So I have special. Yeah. Equi equipped. I don't need it, because equipped with a weapon. But I can spend 10 more. What's HP condition 2? Eh. It's not bad. Um. already kind of done these art changes, the altered arts. I did that when I was grinding for the most part. So we can do evade. I don't know what agility really does. I think I want to go with defend. And HP condition. I think we'll do that, and I'll keep. Maybe I should do swords up because I'm I'm using yeah I'm using a sword, so I might as well do that, and then maybe rise attack. No, I don't want to do that. Strength. Do that. That's good. Is there anything else that's two that I can easily get? Guard plus. Boom. Alright. I'm gonna do these real quick, and I'll meet you when I've done them. Okay. So I have used the SP for all of these guys here. Um, and we have full health, and I think we have full items. Alright, so I think we're good to go, guys. Um... Not sure what comes next. But I'm going to go ahead and save, and I think this is a good spot to go ahead and end off the episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, and make sure you are subscribed for more Tales of Asperia Definitive Edition, guys. Next time, I think we're going to the next place, which is the place. I think it's the place, guys. I think we're going to the place. So if I scoop me up, I'm pretty sure the next thing, let me just see in the synopsis, I think we're going to the tower, right? Yeah, set out for the Tower of Tarkaron. <sighs> we're not going to do that immediately. There's a few things I want to try to do, because I'm not satisfied with how this is ending off. I feel like there's too many loose threads. Oh, hold on. <sighs> Hey, Yuri, something's weird about Judith. Judy's always weird. You're terrible. Can't you see how stressed I am? What's the matter? Did something happen? I'm just... I'm just not helpful at all, am I? No, it's because we're not, not using her. Why would you say that? No, you don't have to pretend. I'm too weak, I know it. You? Weak? Trust me, nobody thinks that at all. No, it's all right. Don't try to make me feel better. It's easier for me this way anyway. You're bored, aren't you? Not being able to fight? Oh. Is <laughs> that what you're worried about? No, it's okay. I can handle the boredom. <laughs> Besides, I have Baal to talk to. Ugh. Sorry. Alright, anyway. Um, so I want to do a couple other things. I want to go to Jormgen first, because... What the fuck's the deal with Jormgen? 
I guess we're just never gonna know. I don't know. That's just, that's something that's sticking out to me. There's, there may be one or two other things I gotta see. Um, but we'll tie up any loose ends that are still kind of hanging out there. And then we'll head to the tower. I imagine next episode probably is not going to be the last episode. I don't, I don't really know how much there is left, but, uh, I would imagine there's, the, the tower is going to be a fairly lengthy affair. So I imagine we'll start that in the next episode. Um, and then maybe finish it in episode 57. Maybe 57 will be the end. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So I hope you're excited for that. I know I am. I will see you in the next episode.